hi guys welcome to today's video in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to create this infinite sliding carousel in figma as you can see this is a 360 degree carousel this keeps sliding infinitely and it is super cool when you need to display an interactive list of cards like this i also have this next button which lets you move to the next card which is super cool while you can use an auto transition you can also use the arrow buttons to move to the next card and also a previous button that lets you move to the previous card this is super cool and i believe you're going to learn a lot from this so without further ado let's get right into the video so guys here is the header section design we are going to be using for this card animation and in order to start working with the animation on these cards, the first thing I am going to do is to detach these cards from this design section. I'm going to duplicate these cards. I'm going to create another um, copy of it. And I'm just going to walk you guys through the anatomy of this section, which is what this section entails. So first, I'm going to um, detach every single frame i'm going to hit command shift g to remove the frame from its container i'm going to do command shift g um, so as you can see i'm going to remove this um, arrows from it so as you can see here we have a list of eight cards which is what we are going to be creating the slider on so guys once you have your list of cards the first thing you want to do is to select every single one of them and hit shift a on them to create an auto layout frame i use auto layout most time when i need to create an even spacing between a list of items and as you can see here i'm using 22 pixel for my spacing and you can use whatever value suits your design so now i want to bring in these arrow buttons that we have here but if i try to fit this arrow button in it's going to be distorted because of the auto layout i'm using so i'm just going to bring it out i'm going to click on this frame and i'm going to click on this lock icon on the frame i'm also going to rename this particular frame to auto layout card list so that you guys can relate whenever we use this particular frame so once i have um this auto layout card list with the lock item on it i'm also going to rename this to uh, arrows then i'm going to bring in this arrow so that it doesn't try to fit into the auto layout setting i'm going to bring in the arrow just place it perfectly the way i want i'm then going to uncheck this um lock um functionality from the auto layout and also select the arrow and i'm going to align vertical center so once i have this on both of this i having both of these items selected i'm going to hit command option g which should be control alt g on windows so now having this um, i'm also going to open up this frame now we have our arrows and our auto layout card list in this particular frame i'm going to select this auto layout card list i'm going to right click on it and i'm going to click on frame selection so once we have that now we have this auto layout card list in another frame so for this frame where we have our auto layout card list i'm going to come to the edge here hold down command and i'm going to click and drag till it shows only the first five cards just like the way we are seeing here in the actual design, it's displaying just the first five cards. So I'm going to do that same thing for this section. So I'm going to rename this frame to card um, carousel, for instance. So now on this card carousel where we have our auto layout card list, I'm can, I can then go ahead to clip its content. Then we have something like this, something that looks like what we have. On our designs so basically what we want to do with this design or with this particular section that we just designed is at every interval at every interval let's say um every two seconds for instance we want to move this auto layout card list all the way to the left but I don't want to keep doing this manually so we are going to be using the x-axis to move this particular section 
all the way to the left so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the width of a single card which is 280 in addition to the um to the spacing size which is 22 just like we discussed earlier um so all together we give us 302 so i'm going to select our auto layout card list which is um, where we have our list of cards on auto layout and i'm going to move the x axis to minus 302 so as you can see it just moves um this particular auto layout frame to the left by one card now we have an introduction of a new card and the first card has gone um to the left so basically what we want to do is at every interval maybe two or one second we want to keep doing this until we've shown all the cards we want to show but here there is an issue and um this is basically because we want to make this a 360 degree animation and in order to achieve this we will need to make sure at the end of these three cards i'm just going to delete this second frame um we're going to create that again but i just want to quickly show you guys something at the end of these three cards i'm going to click on our card carousel and i'm going to uncheck this clip content at the end of these three cards we also want to start showing um the first few cards that was there initially without having to revert back to this initial state and in order to achieve that what we can do is to select the first five cards click ctrl copy which is to copy them click on our auto layout frame the one that has all the list of cards on auto layout and click command or ctrl v to paste them so it's just going to paste them at the end just like this and this is where it becomes um, a little overwhelming when doing um, animations like this in figma so to be able to successfully design this section to animate these cards successfully um, on a 360 degree format um, we will have to duplicate this card almost nine times which can actually be overwhelming when you're doing prototyping or interactions like this in figma which is um really not advisable i want to believe if you can just um do the first three cards it's fine but i'm trying to show you guys how to do this um 360 degrees so what we are going to do now is we will start moving the cards out of this particular frame one after the other so let's um stop talking and let's start getting right to it so i'm going to click on this card carousel section and I'm going to clip its contents um, so that it looks just like what we have here on the design. And we can then start creating our duplicates um, so that we can create our interactive components. So what I'm going to do here is at interval, the first one we are going to do is we're going to create a duplicate. And at interval, the first for this card carousel, we are going to move it just like I said earlier, minus three no this is i don't think this is what we are moving what we are moving is the auto layout card list sorry so we are moving the auto layout card list not um the frame that is wrapped around it so we are moving this auto layout card list by minus 302 so it shows um the first card we are going to then create another duplicate and we are going to move um this by minus 604 to show the second card we're going to do this again we're going to move the auto layout card list in this um fourth section minus 908 and basically this is what we are going to keep doing until we can finally show every single card um, in this section easily so we are going to do this one more time and for this next um, one we'll start showing this first set of cards that we are here initially so I'm also going to move this particular um, auto layout card list for this next one to be minus 1210 
minus 1,210. I think I got that figure wrong. Minus 1,210. Ah. So we keep doing this until we've shown every single card. So the next one. The next frame is going to be um, minus. Okay, we are going to have to select the auto layout card list, and this is going to be minus 15, 12. Just like this. And we are going to do it one more time. One more time, and this is going to be minus. Um, 18, 14, and we are typically going to do it until this first image here comes back to the first position. So we are going to duplicate this one more time, select this also layout card list, and this is going to be minus 21, 16. Right, so one more time to get this particular picture to the first um, row. So we are going to click on the auto layout card list again and we are going to make this minus 24, 18. Perfect. So this is what we are trying to achieve and this is why I said it can be a little overwhelming having to create 1, 2, 3, 4, five six seven eight nine instances of this so once we have all of this i'm going to select every single one of this frame um i'm going to select every single one of this frame i want an even spacing between them so i'm going to hit shift a to create an auto layout and of course i'm going to take it off by hitting command shift g so guys, from here, typically what I want to do now is to create all of this as a component set. But as you notice, if I try to select every single one of these like this, they don't select as um, a group. So I just manually would select these frames by clicking on the frame title here, um, holding shift and selecting every single one of them. This is the kind of selection I actually want. but if I do it like this, it doesn't select the frame individually, which is not cool. So I'm just going to hold down shift and select every single one of this frame individually. So once we have this, I'm going to click on this component options here and I want to create a component set. So now we have a component set with nine variants. So what we want to do is at particular interval, we want to move from one variant to the next. So I'm going to click on this particular first variant and i'm already in the prototype mode if you're not you can just switch to the prototype mode and then transition from the first variant down to the second variant so here we are going to be using an after delay and we are going to leave the after delay to 800 millisecond and we're going to make it a smart animate of 1000 millisecond so um, we want to be able to do this automatically. We want to be able to do this just by um, um, waiting for one second. We want to move to the next card. And we also want to have the option to click on an arrow button and move to the next card. So I'm going to also transition this arrow button, right arrow button here, to this particular variant, which I'm also going to keep at an on click, but we are going to leave. Um, this smart animate functionality so what happens is the same functionality that happens after a delay of two seconds happens when you click so we're going to do the same thing for the next um but this is going to be an after delay on the entire component but for the arrow button on click it's going to come to this next variant we're going to do the same thing um it's going to be an after delay but for the arrow button, it's going to go to this and it's going to be an on-click. I also feel like we should also be prototyping the back button as we are going so that we don't um, leave that behind. This is going to be an on-click 
it is smart animate the same thing um, here takes us back to the first variant so i think we were here at um, the third variant we've prototyped the third variant we can then move to the fifth variant um, and after delay from the variant is fine then we are going to use the arrow button move here it's going to be an on click which is fine you're going to also select the back arrow button and we are going to move back to the previous variant so here on the sixth variant you're going to do the same thing you're going to move to the seventh and it's going to be an after delay you're going to leave all the functionalities all the options like that you're going to prototype the arrow button it's going to be an on click and everything remains the same prototype the back button um, it's going to be an on click everything remains the same so from the from this particular one we are moving down to the seventh um, variant this is going to be an after delay everything remains the same we are going to prototype the arrow button um, just in case the user needs to use the arrow button everything remains the same we are also prototyping the back button everything remains the same so here we've done this um, i think the next is this particular variant we're moving to the eighth variant here um, after delay we're going to prototype the arrow button everything remains the same and we're also going to prototype the back button so um, we're going to be doing this for the last set of variants this is going to be an after delay but the arrow button is definitely going to be an on click so we leave everything the way it is and the back button also an on click so this is exactly the reason why we created nine variants right so i'm going to tell you guys why so now that we have our last set so now that we have our last variant similar to our very first variant what we want to do is once you get to this last variant we want to prototype back to the very first variant this is going to be an after delay and it's going to be um one millisecond if it's possible to do zero milliseconds we will but it's not possible so it's going to be one milliseconds and this is going to be an instant animation so basically what's happening is once it gets to this particular frame or once it gets to this particular variant it automatically um goes back to this first one without the user noticing that particular um functionality or that particular um change actually so now that we have all our variants prototype what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the first instance here i'm going to copy it i'm going to come to our design i'm going to right click and i'm going to paste to replace so now that we have this we can then test our prototype i'm going to click on this home page and click on the prototype button so as you can see guys this is exactly the animation we are going for this is pretty fast uh, i'm just doing this so that you guys can quickly see this and once it gets to the first one it returns back to the first one and you don't even notice which is exactly what we want to achieve so this particular um, carousel um, slider keeps scrolling infinitely which is super cool but in reality you won't want to um, put the animation this fast you will want to give the user some time to read um, what's written on the card before you take them to the next let's test out our arrow buttons so i'm just going to click 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 i'm just going to keep clicking you can see you can keep clicking and it actually works we can actually go back also we can keep going back which is super cool